right, we are here at the barn. We're a little bit early, just the way I like it. And so something I didn't tell you guys. Basically, I hate riding when the girls ride because it always feels so rushed and I can't help them and nobody can help me. And I just, I feel so stressed out with the rush. So, um, I decided that I am going to ride. I asked Fiona, can I ride on a different day? Like, just come and get the horse out of the field and, and just ride on my own day since I'm not riding Stella right now. And she said, yeah, so I'm going to have my own lesson. I'm not giving up and Stella will be back to riding anyway. And then that'll be a moot point. But anyway, yeah, but for now I'm going to ride on my own, on my own day so that I can enjoy it the way I want to enjoy it. Eleven. I hope you're gonna be a good boy today. Look at his hair, be looking cute. Hi, handsome. Why is your eye runny again? Okay, what do I need to bring? You're gonna wanna move. Okay, I'm gonna. Hurry, you get my whip. So I have no horse. Finn. <laughs> Finn's like, ooh, I can finally bite him. Oh. Go careful, go careful, good boy. Storm, you have been making a mess. Did you curry comb him first? No. So, you guys, we have a big problem. Some of you guys might have noticed, but we have two uh, perfect horses for two amazing girls. But, they're the wrong horses for the wrong girls. Tabby needs a horse like Finn. She needs a horse like Finn to, to grow on and expand with and change and, and, and fine tune. And this guy needs a girl like Sophie that just wants to ride and not be scared. But the problem is that they already have owners, right? Storm, you already have an owner that you love and that loves you. So today is the beginning of Operation Fix Finn. Boot camp for Finn. You guys might see a little bit of changes happening. Oh. Hurry up. You guys might see a little bit of changes happening yeah, at our barn. I'm already helping you. So Mom, you get to help you since you're not. All right, so now Storm got a sore back. I was brushing him and he was like flinching every time I brushed him. So Fiona's like, you can't put a saddle on him. And I'm like, nope, we can't. Are you all right with that? Sophie was going to ride Storm. So oh, Sophie has to ride Finn, even though she's afraid. So we're just gonna ride him at a walk and see what we can work up to and support her. Look at you can jump barrels. Yes, I'll do that. I know you would. My hands are tied. And you resonate inside my So basically we're just building confidence. That's all you can do, that's all that we're doing. For a lot of you guys that ask about how you build confidence again after you lose it after a fall or with a difficult horse or if you lose trust in your horse this is this is it sister this is how you do it you have somebody walk with you you just take one little tiny step at a time don't let your mother in the arena if your mother is the trigger for you And that's the thing about Finn, is that he feels every single thing. Like, there's nothing that he doesn't feel. All right, I just saw a smile. Walk him over the brown and green bowls. Wow, oh, huge change from yesterday. Well, that was, that was, yeah, it's the arena. Sounds good. Happens, you have to ride through it and then forget it happened and ride on like it didn't. Yeah, because if you keep riding. In, so say he spooks right here. And the next time around, you tighten up your reins because you're preparing for the spook. He's gonna do it again. Yeah. And again. And yeah. Again, and you have to just ride through the corner like it's not happening. Yeah. So yesterday we were all stressed out, all worked up, <laughs> and now today he's a perfect pony. You didn't have to walk with her for very long. It's the indoor too, I think. It's you, Sophie. You're, You're calmer. calmer with me. That's 
part of it too. No different than our trail ride when we were camping. Remember you panicked in the beginning? Oh. Uh, and then you relaxed and how awesome was your trail ride? Oh, don't ask her. She hated it. You had that. the freaking best horse out there. <laughs> she hated it. Almost. I mean, it could have happened to Stella when we went on that trail ride. She could have got a stone bruise because of all that stuff we did. You know what I mean? She could have. Because we didn't really notice it till. What a good man. We didn't really notice it till we came back, right? Like that day after we rode her. Yeah, she was so stiff in the back end before the trail ride. Oh. How's that feel? Excellent. That's what we like. Ready to jump? <laughs> Trot up over the blue poles. Did you jump last night? No. Almost. Almost. Did you both ride Finn in the lesson? Gabby rode Storm and then Finn. Oh, in lesson? Both of them in lesson? Yeah. Because Finn literally has so much energy. He was like hopping on the spot, just standing there. He was like literally jumping up and down, ready to go. So he's done that before in that ring, and we just make her walk and circle and walk and circle and walk and circle and serpentine, and then he calms down and then she has a nice ride. So that's what he did. He's like, walk a couple of steps, trot a couple of steps, walk a couple of steps, trot a couple of steps, and he did get busy. <laughs> the best fall that Gabby ever had, though, was literally the one where she stood in the air. Yes. That was so yeah. funny. She held her horse. <laughs> yeah. And... <laughs> It was epic. Flat. This is when you talk about forever and you tell people, I need acrobatics in the air around the horse. I'm really good at it. <laughs> then she landed on her face. That was, good. <laughs> that was a good one. It was much better than the fall off. Mm hmm. No. Cross the diagonal. Mm hmm. Little half hole and breathe. Remember, when he turns corners too tight, he gets a little speedy. That's when we need to half haul, slow him down. Just because we're turning doesn't mean he needs to speed up. So you need to think that when you're making a turn, his feet do have to move faster to turn the corner, right? So we need to be proactive and half haul and slow him down before we turn the corner. So the turning the corner doesn't make him go blah, 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 like, you know, like a snowball rolling down a hill, get faster and faster. That's him when he turns the corner. His feet kind of move faster and faster. You ever tried to run down a hill? You end up running really fast before you trip and fall on your face, right? Yeah, that's him going around the corner. He's running really fast because he's about to trip. He's trying not to. But we just want to half halt and put them together. He was framing last night. He looked so good. good. Gonna come across the diagonal red. Remember, we're gonna go through a corner here. So start the slow down process now. Turn, half hold, half hold. Look at how much nicer that was. Same thing at the next corner here. Oh, run a little half hold, good job. A little half hold in the corner. Maybe he's like, oh my God. Yeah, because he's like, okay, I'll behave. Don't put that other girl on me anymore. As weird as it is, I know every he's actually more the emotional side. Oh, I know. Oh, for sure. This. Oh, I know. This one has one emotion. I know. <laughs> well, she's mostly just happy, but. Yes. Give him a pat. Tell him he's a good boy. When Sophie does it one handed, you know she's feeling brave. All right, let's give him a little walk break. Big breath out. Yeah, good boy. He really would like to go over the poles, he says. So let's work on figure eight. Pink poles and red poles. Keep just keep talking to him. He's just listening to stuff out there. Pink. Yeah. We're going to work our corners. We have four corners this way to do. Change your eyes. Good. Your right heel down more than your left heel. Miss your red pole. So slow down for your turn here. Perfect. Change your 
rise. Into your corner. Slow down for your turn. Good. I like how responsive he's being for you. Back all your corners. He does love her. I know he does. And he knows that she's his. Half all your corners. What'd we forget to do? Yep. <laughs> what was that you were working on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Circle in this end of the arena. Hey, I'm incapable, Freaking genius. Slow, yes. Yeah. Well, not that slow. <laughs> and back to your rock. Good. So we're going to do it again. Every time you get there, you're going to sit and do a slow drop. What a happy boy. So the video hasn't even come out yet, so I know you did not see what happened yesterday. So you must be intuitive. So the reason that she's afraid to canter him is because she can't slow him down. And she can't slow him down because if she pulls on the reins, he goes faster. So Brandon was trying to explain this to her, but she didn't get it. But now I think she's getting it. Very nice. Now what I want you to do is you're going to do seven steps at F and seven steps at K of six slow drops. Teaching him that just because we sit, which is what we do before a canter, doesn't mean he gets to go faster. It means he has to listen to what we're asking him to do. The goal to this is what happens is you're going to go into that nice little sit trot. He's going to slow down and finally give you the nice trot. And then you're going to say, okay, can you canter one step for me? And he's going to go, what? And he's going to hop into the canter, and then you're going to pull him back to the trot before he even has a chance to be aware that he even canters. That is the, the build up to it, right? We gotta do it one step at a time so you're both comfortable. Okay. He's gonna take a two. So, are we doing it though? You know, your dad struggles to walk some days. Every day. Pretty soon he'll be back at work and we'll have nobody to help us. Cry. <laughs> I know what you're gonna do, Laura. Oh, well, I know. I'll be sitting at my desk. Now I want you to do 15 steps to sit. Good. 
behind us. They're rising around to get to F again. I want you to focus this time. And when you're counting, I want you to tell me what number he slows down at. I'm ready to canter. I'm feeling it. Say no, she said, Okay, let me try. Yep. And not once did she pull on the face. No, I know, she's a gentle rider. 
<laughs> so, do you see what we did there, though? We built him up so that the only answer for him was just him. He didn't have any other answer. We didn't fight him. We didn't rip his teeth out of his head. We didn't treat him like crap. He didn't. We just said, this is what we want. No, not that. No, not that. This is what we want. Thank you, good boy. We only give him one option. You are a very, very good boy, Finny boy. That was a lot of work for you. Oh, he's sweating. Good job, Sophia. I am very, very proud of you. Big difference from yesterday. That's why you have... Aren't you glad we have such a good leader? Good trainer? We are headed home. If you didn't catch that storm, I just had like his back was sore. When I was brushing him, he was flinching a little. He's always sore when you push so hard on him. I didn't push that hard though. That's the whole point. So... Anyway, Fiona wants the chiropractor to treat him before we ride again, and so she's in our area on Friday, so I'm going to message her right now and see if she can come take care of Stormy Boy. But that's the thing with horses. It's always up and down when you're an athlete, and you know yourself how you always have aches and pains. The more you do, the more you work. It's the same with horses, and having the chiropractor come out will fix him up just like that and let him go again. If I can't even imagine how what would happen to his body if we ignored it and just let things go but yeah thank goodness we don't do that turns around i get stunned by your drum i follow you and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below